Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living and thanks for watching my videos. Welcome to my new subscribers. And today I'm going to talk about where I get my coupons from. Uh, I get questioned frequently about um, how I get inserts. Um, so I'm just going to take it a little step further and show all kinds of places to find coupons. So my number one place for finding um, <laughs> newspaper inserts is right here at Walgreens and we'll go over here I'll show you um, yeah I, I buy papers at Walgreens and I do that for the sole purpose that I can use my Walgreens reward money to get the papers and I'll take you right here where I buy my papers at <laughs> right here yeah so I typically buy four newspapers a week to get the inserts um, you know some weeks I don't buy any some weeks I might buy you know upwards of seven or eight just depends on what kind of coupons in there and if I really feel like I'm going to use them but I do rely on the newspaper to make sure that I have at least two of every coupon that's what I you know I always buy multiples of two at least I try to and um, you know I get inserts in other places which you'll see next but um, besides Walgreens sometimes I buy my newspapers here at the Rite Aid <laughs> and um, but I have to say that um, up rewards are not supposed to be used to pay for newspapers so just keep that in mind so another place I get coupon inserts is right here out of my mailbox I show you guys most every Tuesday when we get a smart torch. Sometimes it comes on Wednesdays. But anyways, yes, it just comes in this flyer like this. So um, some places get red plums in the mail for free. Some places get um, uh, the PNG. I get the smart source in my area. Don't do anything special to get it, but there it is. Yes, so here's another fantastic place for me to get my coupons. It's the post office. Yes, this is the bin right here that I collect inserts from. And these are the ones that I get in the mail on Tuesday. And the people who have the post office boxes here just pitch them in here. So usually, if I come a couple of days after the inserts come in the mail. I usually can get 30 of them really easily. I've gotten I've gotten upwards of 100 inserts out of these bins here at the post office. But, you know, this is subject to the fact that my post office delivers inserts for free. Another place I get my inserts right here is the recycle bins. <laughs> they look like big dumpsters, but that's all that they are. And let's look inside. Hmm. Nope, looks like they just cleared it out. In fact, I was just here two days ago and they had just taken it. Let's go look at the other one. So I guess I'm not going to find anything today to show you. Oh, there's a big pile over there, but I don't dig too much and I have a step. And some grabby arms that I can, um, reach in there so I don't have to get in the bin but um, so I don't think I'm gonna dig anything out of there today but I get inserts out of there people just throw them away another source for finding inserts is uh, people you know who don't use the coupons out of the papers that they buy so I have people who don't coupon but um, I'm frequently giving them bottles of shampoo or whatever, so they give me their inserts so I can get more deals. Another place to get coupons is from the stores themselves. A lot of stores give out coupons um, in different forms. Uh, these coupons right here are Catalina machine coupons. Um, if you've ever shopped at Walgreens and gotten a register reward that came out of the Catalina machine and or if you've ever gotten one of those um, people call them cat coupons on your next order um, you know when you let's say you buy two Windex 
and then you get a um, dollar fifty back. That's a Catalina, and that's the same machine that produced these coupons right here. So um, a a lot of grocery stores have them. They're more prevalent in grocery stores than other places. Um, Walgreens has it, and Rite Aid has them. Um, CVS does not. Um, Target does not have them. So you just might ask at your store um, or look at the cash register and see if you see the box sitting there. Okay, but um, or if you've ever gotten any coupons handed to you from a cashier, they probably came out of the Catalina machine. So um, Meyer is a grocery store in my area. Kroger has the Catalina machines. Um, yeah, so it's a good source for coupons. Rite Aid gives away more coupons than any other store that I know. Um, li this this is a massive pile <laughs> of all my Catalina coupons right now out of, out of Rite Aid. So another way that stores might give you coupons is um, on the cash register tape. Um, these are from Rite Aid. Um, CVS puts coupons on... Um, on their receipts as well. Other potential places to find uh, store specific coupons is right out of the store's flyer. Um, so oftentimes stores like Michael's, um, Hobby Lobby, places like that, um, that don't take manufacturer coupons, it might put coupons for their products in their ads. Um, you know, Rite Aid is really big. <laughs> There's some right there. I'm putting um, coupons in their ads. Walgreens does it a lot as well. Um, so just um, be sure and look through the flyers. I've seen them in Walmart ads, um, Toys R Us ads. Um, one of my local grocery stores does it. Um, also, Walgreens puts out this um, monthly coupon book, and these are Walgreens coupons that can be stacked. Um, Rite Aid coupons that are in the ad, 99% of the time are Rite Aid coupons and can be stacked with the manufacturer coupons. Um, the stores might put coupons around the store. I've seen it at Dollar General. There'll be um, Dollar General specific coupons. Um, CVS doesn't do it so much. CVS doesn't hand out coupons very much. Um, they do have their red box machine or the um, magic coupon machine, whatever one of people want to call it. So it's the price scanner. It's a big red box somewhere near the front door um, at your CVS. You scan your card and it should give you some coupons. Okay, finding coupons in other places might include on the product itself, like this right here. This is a coupon on top of the Listerine and um, you can just take that off right at the store and use it. I probably had a better coupon <laughs> than that one or sometimes I look at the expiration dates on these and if they're a lot longer than the um, paper coupon like out of an insert that I have I go ahead and use that and keep this one until later so um, you'll find that. There will also be coupons printed on the inside of packages. Um, cereal, you'll see it sometimes and they might tell you on the outside of the package that there is a coupon inside and sometimes they might not. So um, these are a couple of coupons that I actually found inside, printed on the inside of a box. This one actually has no expiration date, neither does that one. Um, but anyways, you might also find if I can get this open, there should be a coupon inside of this box. And I know that because uh, I've pulled it out before. Yes, here we go. So, um, actually this one has two. So, frequently you'll see people talking about it on um, the internet about, oh, there's a coupon inside that box. So, um, yeah, that's how you find out about that. A lot of times when it's a brand new product, when they're saying new on it, that, that might be an indicator that there is an actual coupon inside the box. So I'm going to show you some um, other examples of coupons on the products. This is a Blinky machine. So named because of the Blinky light on the side. If it would blink, there it goes. <laughs> and you pull it out. And it'll give you another one. And then you pull that one out. And then you have to wait forever to get another one. This is a tear pad that is on an in-cap box display. 
Sometimes tear pads look like this. Some places you can find coupon booklets in the store, hanging off the shelf, at the counter. Here's some coupons that are just hanging on the shelf. This is a Peely. And this is a Rite Aid Peely coupon that can be stacked with a manufacturer coupon. And sometimes the Peelys are for different products than they're on. And this green 50 cents off now is a Rite Aid Freshness Peely, so it gets stacked with a manufacturer coupon too. Yummy Peely. This Peely covers the whole front of the box. Sometimes they're just hanging off the bottle. A funky kind of hang tag. Another place to find some coupons are magazines. <laughs> so a lot of the women's title magazines right here, um, they'll have coupons inside of them. And frequently they look like this. Um, and they'll just be stuck inside of the magazine somewhere. Um, sometimes they'll be printed on the pages themselves. Um, or whatever so you know if you get any magazine subscriptions or you know somebody who does um, you know they put these out a few times a year and then have random coupons throughout there now all you magazine which is available at Walmart only or through subscription has coupons in it all the time um, and of course I can't turn to a page there's one right there there's lots of coupons in there and um, you can also print um, coupons.com coupons off of all use um, website um, I get this magazine for free using Coke Rewards. Um, it's available there, so that's an idea. And then also, if your newspaper gets the USA Weekender or the Parade uh, magazine um, every Sunday, there's typically a coupon in these every Sunday, um, I have found. Okay, the internet, of course, is a big source of coupons. Um, you can print, you can load to card. Um, if you got, you know, stores that have loyalty cards, um, maybe text messaging through a smartphone, they can scan a barcode on your phone. So it pays to look around. I'm going to put a link to these websites in the note field, but I'm just going to point them out real quickly. So coupons.com and a lot of these have um, load to card coupons. If you sign in to the website and load your loyalty cards, um, smartsource.com, redplum or save.com, um, hopster, you have to sign up for this and then you can boost your coupons. And if you watch little videos and stuff and get higher value coupons and they sometimes have more unique coupons you don't find elsewhere. Um, Kellogg's Family Rewards offers um, coupons you can just print or if you redeem the codes off of the boxes um, you can get some higher value coupons from them. Um, Betty Crocker um, you have to have a login to get these but their coupons are often higher value coupons than what you're gonna find on other websites okay. Um, let's see Healthy Essentials um, is Johnson & Johnson's um, website they have you have to log in in order to print the coupons there and most of those are restricted to one per computer PNG every day is Procter and Gamble's website and so you're gonna find um, a lot of coupons that you won't find elsewhere on their website sometimes they're higher value but these are powered by coupons.com so if you already printed out the same coupon on coupons.com it probably won't let you do it there Target um, the store has uh, printable coupons. These are most of these are Target coupons that can be stacked with a manufacturer coupon, but um, some of them do print out as manufacturer coupons. If you got a store that takes competitor coupons and you got a Target in your area, um, like I do, and so I could use these at one of my grocery stores in my area. They also have Cartwheel, which is like off of your smartphone, but if you just do it on your computer, um, you can print out a sheet and if you don't have a smartphone and they can scan the barcode off of the paper you print but they also do texting coupons Target does they they give away coupons galore um, and then you should find yourself a coupon database um, if you're looking around on the internet to print coupons I use the one here on Southern Savers 
um, basically you just type in um, the name of a product and see if a coupon is listed because it'll find a lot of printables that you may not find otherwise. Like I search Qtex and here it pops up, it's ready to print um, this Q Qtex uh, coupon which is powered by coupons.com like I also searched for Arnicare and it popped up on Arnicare's um, website this PDF of a dollar off um, their Arnicare so um, those are options and if you have loyalty cards like Walgreens just started doing load to card Rite Aid's doing load to card Rite Aid has um, their video value program so um, K uh, Kroger does load to card my Meyer grocery store has a different thing that's done through smartphone and texting um, so it just varies you know whatever stores are in your area you, you might check and see on their website if they have um, specific store printable coupons Dollar General does and there's a lot of store specific coupons on Dollar General's website as well and another place that people get coupon inserts from are through clipping services um, you can search the internet and find them if you want um, basically they will sell whole inserts to you or um, individual coupons cut out of inserts um, I don't personally find a need to have um, to use those coupon clipping services. I get plenty of coupons as it is, um, and if I don't have a certain coupon, then um, that's fine. Um, I have had people who live in other areas who watch my YouTube video send me coupons, but um, as for buying them from clipping services, I, I don't personally have a need for that. So I think that's just an individual thing. Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed my tour of where I get coupons from, and maybe um, that'll help you find um, some coupons yourself. I'll talk to you later.